from Shala Siddhi Framework Domain 2, the standard teacher's reflection on their own teaching learning practices is a crucial one. It encourages teachers to regularly think about how they teach and how students are doing in their learning. It's like checking if our way of teaching is helpful and if students are understanding and growing. Just like how we sometimes stop and think if we're going the right way on a road trip. Teachers pause and consider if their teaching is effective and if students are learning well. This helps us improve and make sure every student gets the best education possible. The reason we choose was that uh, we were on the level one and we, I wanted uh, the teachers to move on to the level two. Now, the main reason also was to make the teachers aware that we have to do the systematic reflection on our own teaching. So, the process goes like this. You plan the lesson, you teach the lesson, you come back and you review whether the lesson was good, the lesson was successful, all the students have understood it or the teacher needs to do something if they lack the understanding of the lesson. So then the teacher goes back, replans the lesson, replans the activities and the next day she goes again with the new plan. So the various ways of reflecting is, one is self-reflection, second is taking feedback from the students, whether they have understood or not. The documentation is done by in the weekly lesson plan book. Now it's very difficult every day to write about the reflections, but weekly the teachers definitely can do it. And so in my school, uh, we maintain the weekly plan and on that planning book itself, the teacher has added the column, additional column of reflection. Let's make it a habit to reflect often, learn from it and create an even better learning experience for our students. Take the first step, reflect and adapt.